Children. I was going to talk about my life and stuff, but instead I'm going to talk about stuff that's more important. Science and goddamn moths. I've already expressed my frustration to some of my friends before, but I realize that I haven't vented to you guys yet. So I'm going to do that right now. There was a night where I was sitting on my bed, and I looked out the window, and there was a moth on the window. My light was on, that made sense, it had happened many times before. But I was looking at the moth, and I had realized that I had never learned in school why moths are attracted to light. I know that they're attracted to light. None of the teachers that I had ever had that had talked about moths being attracted to light had ever mentioned why they're attracted to light. I have a lot of questions pretty much every single day, and generally when I have a question, I consult Google or Wikipedia. And I usually get an answer, and more than what I wanted. I, I get every piece of knowledge that has ever been known about the thing that I'm looking for, and it's beautiful. I, I never have unanswered questions, for the most part. That was accurate, at least, until I googled why goddamn moths are attracted to goddamn light. You see, Google didn't know the answer. Google knew hypotheses, but no answer. The same for Wikipedia. The thing that bothers me is that through all of human history, we've done so many things. We figured out how to make bread. We figured out how to use tools. We figured out how to build houses and cities. We figured out how to talk to people on the other side of the world. We figured out how to fly. We're people. We said, screw you, gravity. This giant piece of metal is gonna go in the air and make it to wherever it needs to go. And it's gonna bring people with it, too. We used science to figure this out. We went to the frickin' moon. We put a bunch of people in a tube and said, you're gonna go up to the white ball in the dark sky and just jump around for a little bit and maybe pick up some rocks. And then you're gonna come back. And we goddamn did it with science. We figured out how to clone animals. We said, screw you, nature and genetics. We can predict volcano eruptions, earthquakes, rock slides, and tornadoes before they happen, and tell people not to go places so they don't die. I don't know how accurate this is because I saw it on the internet a while back, but I, I, I think that we figured out how to put electrodes into a cat's brain and get on a computer monitor what it's seeing. We could see through a cat's eyes just by scanning its brain. I have a picture of the current phase of the moon on my watch, and not only that, I can read text messages from my friends. So my question is, if we've gone this far in science, why do we not know why moths are attracted to light? We don't have a clue. People have ideas, there's hypotheses about uh, maybe it's because they're attracted to the light so that they can fly in relation to the moon, but then this thing doesn't make sense because I'm not a biologist, but I'm pretty sure that moths are not nearly as complicated as people or a lot of the other things that we know a lot of things about. We're figuring out how to cure cancer and diabetes and AIDS and terpies and whatnot, but we don't know why freaking moths are attracted to the freaking light. Apparently when humanity is challenged to rant a goddamn robot on a goddamn comet, we say, yeah, sure, why not? We could totally do that. But when humanity is asked, why are moths attracted to light? We say, I don't know. Apparently it's some kind of magic. Nope, sorry science. Apparently moths are freaking Harry Potter creatures that use a convenient combination of hexes and spells. And we have no idea how they work. We know why dog hair only grows this long while people hair only grows this long. We know why alcohol makes your brain go funny. We have figured out roughly how old the universe is, how old the earth is, and when life arrived on the planet. But we don't know why moths are attracted to goddamn light. The point is, I think that like cats and emu, Moths should not be trusted, because they're obviously hiding something, and they're scheming. Do not befriend them, do not let them into your homes, and whatever you do, do not Google them, because Google is hiding something too. Anyway, grandchildren, if you see me any time in the near future, we should play charades or something.
So that might be fun. Just don't bring up goddamn moths unless unless we know why they're attracted to light and how they work and what they're hiding. If we don't know the answers to those questions, do not bring up moths or I will punch you in the face. I don't care if you're my grandchild. You will get punched in the face. Until next time, grandchildren. See you guys.